All right. Good morning. Thank you for showing up. If you have a foam roller, grab your foam roller. And if you have a mini band, grab a mini band. We'll do a little warm up with, with those two things. Hi, my name is Kelly. Welcome to my studio. And this is Maxwell. Good morning, Maxwell. How are you this morning? Good morning. Today's program, full body workout, we'll work, we'll work the upper and lower body. Um, five moves will work on the minute, both in the strength part of the workout and also the cardio part. We'll progress the moves as we go along. So let's get started right away by warming up. Do you like that? That feels good, right? <laughs> Okay, so stand up and reach up overhead. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Diane. I saw that you're on hands on your thighs, round your back, lower down, and then inhale and reach up, stretch overhead. Bring your hands to your thighs, round your back, lower down, inhale and reach up. If you can, put on some music, something that you like, so you can have something in the background going on while we work out. So this first part, it's about 25 minutes, second part, same thing. And then well, finally we'll finish with core training and stretch for about 15 minutes. I intend to use the foam roller if I can remember. <laughs> I've got it right there. So I should at the end also, because I have read that it does help with recovery with um, that delayed onset muscle soreness, potentially. <laughs> Inhale and reach up. All right, so now let's do a knee grab, grab your left knee and pull it up, rotate your foot, balance, set that down, bring your left up, rotate both directions, set it down, and again, just pull it up, alternating that, let's do that four more times, four, three, two, do you need something? One, all right, so now let's do a leg sweep, right leg forward, and back, sweep your arms, warming up the shoulders also, and the hip joint. You wanna go out? All right, I'll let you out. Continue sweeping your leg. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Sweep your leg. And then same leg across the center line of the body. Sweep the arms. And now let's change sides. Other leg, sweep forward and back. So notice the, get your balance first. Notice the hip, the flexors in the front, glute in the back. So the idea is that when you warm up the muscles, you're activating, getting the blood flow, nutrients to the muscle. Now take it in front. Arms out and in, opposite, good. Do it four, three, two, and then one. Grab your foam roller. If you don't have a foam roller, just sit on the mat and do some, do some stretches for your hamstrings. So here, foam roller, we're gonna roll the hamstrings out before we begin. So. The idea is that stimulates the tissue, maybe creating more range of motion. Bring your hands behind you. And so you want your wrists underneath your shoulders. So you'll lift up. First, straighten your, your right leg. Let's do one at a time. So hand right here. And you wanna start like right at the knee and go to the middle right there. So don't go higher than the middle. Just stay right there. You wanna have a shorter range of motion so you can roll all the way through that area from the knee and back. So my fingers are pointing out to have my shoulders protected. And if you turn your foot out, you'll roll more of the lateral part of your leg. And then if you turn it in, more of the inside, the medial or inner thigh. Now let's change sides. So one side at a time, bring it up, put your foot in the, on the floor, 
and roll. So from to your knee and then to the middle, right there, okay? Bring it back and to the middle. R roll and then turn your toes out, get the outside. And now the inside. Good. So you can do this at the same time by placing it your knee right under your knees on the roll, and you'll just roll right there to the middle and then roll back. So kind of being more efficient with time. If that's okay, you can also go back to the single leg, so right to the center, feel the muscle right there. Hamstring is a large muscle. If you turn your toes out again, you'll get the lateral part, right? And if you kind of turn pigeon toed in, inner, inner thighs just a little bit, right? All right, so now let's go to the upper portion, upper part of the hamstring. So it's good to roll them in sections like that because once you start rolling all the way up, you can get out of alignment. So sectioning it off. So come up to your glutes, more to your glutes right there, and then roll that to the middle and then right there, and then to the center. Toes pointing up to start with. And then... Turn the toes out, feel the outside edges more of the hamstring, and then inside. You want to do about 10 reps and, and two rounds, or you could say do 45 seconds or to a minute of rolling. Good. Now place your feet on the floor. And scoot this up underneath your glutes. Let's roll the glutes. So we did this earlier in our program last week. So left foot on the floor, right ankle on left knee, and kind of lean over into that right side and roll out your pocket right there. So palms flat, roll out the pocket. And again, 10 times. Right, lean over more. And then the other side. So ankle on the knee, lean over onto that, that side, and then roll out your pocket right there. Over the gluteus maximus. You may be feeling it may be tender after this week of exercise programs. Monday we did emphasis on our focus on the lower body. And then Wednesday, upper body. And today we'll do combination upper and lower. And there'll be some things that we did before or during the week on Monday and Wednesday. But there's some new stuff too. We're going to start on the floor, by the way. Okay, so now let's roll off of that and move the roller to the side. Like that. Come up onto your knees. Grab your minivan if you don't have one, just pretend you do. <laughs> so on your shins, on your knees, the band right at Oh, by the way, put on your tracker if you haven't already. So I'm choosing, you could do high, inter high intensity interval training if you have a selection, otherwise just turn on your monitor. Okay, so here, you're pressing out, reach forward and bring your elbows in, reach forward. So about 30 seconds right here, and then we'll do a lean. So here's, if your lower back is uncomfortable right here on your shins or on your knees, bring one foot forward and reach. So this is about your shoulders, upper body warming up. We just worked the lower body for quite a while warming up. So now, now the upper reach and bring the elbows in. 
If you're on one knee, change sides. Good. Reach. Stretch the arms forward as long as they'll go. Like you're gonna reach for something and then bring it in, elbows into the side. All right, so now stand up and do the same thing. Reach, 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 good. Let's do it for 10 more seconds. Keep pressing out if you've got a mini band. Resisting against the band, fill your shoulders, stagger your feet. Now lift up and reach. Separate your feet and lean over one side. Reach the arms straight as you can, so don't bend your elbows. You wanna reach straight and turn your chin. Now lift up and lean over the opposite way. Lean, reach the arms, turn your chin. Inhale, lift. Let's do it one more time on each side. So lean over, reach the arms, turn your chin. And then do it, center up, and then the opposite side. Reach the arms straight. And bring it down, let's let that go. All right, shake it off. Setting the timer. Beginning now, starting now. So we've got five moves. I want you to grab your medium to light weight two of two weights, so have those at your sides. Lie down on the mat, we got two moves on the floor, back to back, so lower down, glute bridge to start with. So lift up, no weights right here. Press the hands into the floor, press your shoulder blades down, squeeze the glutes right there at the top, just a little squeeze right there. Now stagger your right heel forward. Lift and lower, lift and lower. One minute of time, but we're going to or change the position or the movement throughout. Change the stagger to your left foot. Lift up. Let's do that five times. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Press your palms down. Now both feet equal, parallel. Lift up the hips, squeeze. Glute bridge is a great move to do before you get into squats and lunges and all that stuff. Activating the glutes. All right, so now let's do a rib cage pullover, upper body. Transferring, <laughs> work in the upper body. Grab one of your dumbbells and hold it like this, like a candlestick, and keep your feet on the floor flat. You're gonna reach that up and over your head and touch over your head and then bring it up. Reach. Draw your elbows in towards each other the whole time. Lower back pressing towards the floor. Lift and reach. Lift and then reach overhead. Lift it up. Good. So just keep this movement. It's not much you can change here. This is just you can do a pretty good bit of reps here unless you've got a lot of weight. I've got 10 pounds. You could go up heavier for the second round. We're gonna do three rounds, by the way. So this first round is kind of the tester round to see how you are today, see what needs a little more attention. See if you need to pyramid up in your weight a little heavier so that you're more effective. We're gonna bring it up into a stand, standing position right here. So lift up and move your, grab your weights. Stand up. Lateral step to a squat, okay? So bring the weights up to, up to your shoulders. Squat and step together. Right to the side and step together. Do it again. Step and together. All right, so now Add the upper press or shoulder press, lift. Other side, just the squat, right? So range of motion, working, go a little bit lower. Add the overhead press, up, squat, press, squat, press, squat, and press. Now alternate, lift. 
squat, lift. Go a little lower if you can, if it's okay. Range of motion increasing as you get warmer. Nicely done. Lift. Do one more. Excellent work. Okay, keep this weight. I want you to try to stay with your, the same weight, unless it's too light for you. Stay with the same weight the whole time. Roll your shoulders back. Rear lunge, right leg. Let's do five. And do, that bicep, do a bicep curl on the same side of the lunging leg. Good. Do one more. Lower the knee. Now change sides. Lunge, step back, lower the knee. Hold the opposite weight strong. And now let's alternate. Curl, step back, lower your knee. You guys, strong legs, strong upper body. Being efficient with the movement or with the workout. Also working upper and lower together, same time. Heart rate will climb a little bit higher. So it becomes a cardio workout to you. Burning calories, burning fat. One more, excellent. Okay, chest press. So we're gonna take it back down to the floor and stay there for the next three. So chest press, head on the floor, palms facing in. Lift it up. If you have a bench, you can use your bench. Lift up, bring the weights together. Elbows tap, lift up. Tap your elbows and lift. My feet are on the floor, knees up. Now turn the palms facing forward or first facing away when you press up to the top. Bring the weights together to touch at the top right there. Good, keep that movement. Alternate right here. So right and then left. Right over the chest, right there. Straight up. Three, two, and one. Glute bridge. So this is the second round. Stay on the floor, glute bridge. Grab one of your dumbbells. Place it on your hips right here, holding the ends. Bring your heels underneath your knees and then lift and lower. Lift and lower. Press your shoulders down. So feel your blades right there. Lift and lower. Bring your feet just slightly closer together. You don't want them too wide so that your hips go off balance when we stagger the left, the right foot forward. Stagger the right foot forward. Five, four, three, two, change sides. Stagger the opposite heel forward. Heel, <laughs> I'm from the south. <laughs> Up and down, lift. Press into your heel to lift up. Both feet flat. Equaling the weight or the pressing down into both heels. Good. All right. So here's your rib cage pullover. Weight. Lift it up. Don't drop it. Knees, on the f knees pointing up, feet on the floor. You can widen your stance. Abs contracted, you guys. Even though we're just laying here, I want you to contract your abs the whole time. Reaching the dumbbell over the head and then over the chest. Keeping the arms straight right here. Ribcage pullover. Elbows draw in. This is working the lats when you draw the elbows in towards each other. Also the core. Bring it up, shoulders, triceps, up and down.
Good job. Bring it up and over the head. Touch over the head and lift. If you're on a bench, don't go too, too much lower or don't go lower than the bench over the head. Good, all right, so now bring it up. Squats, all right? So let's do it. So standing, shoulders back. Step two, the right. And step together, so right again. Do five of those. Go lower. Pressure weight or pressure feet down as you lift up. Squat to the other side. Step and then up. Squat, lift, squat, up. And now let's alternate and go overhead, all right? So squat and press. Bearing the movement, lift, squat, press. Take it slow and controlled. Squat and lift. Down and up. Squat, press overhead. Squat, press overhead. Do it again. Squat and lift. Squat and lift. All right. Keep this weight. Stay with the same weight unless it's way too easy. Hopefully it's just moderately challenging. Shoulders back, rear lunge, right leg. Ready? Rear lunge, right side. Add that bicep curl. If you want to, let's bring that across the body like that. So cross body, hammer curl. Palm facing in the whole time. Good job. Let's change sides, five on the other side. Five. Dip the knee towards the floor. Forward knee over your ankle, watch that. You got it. Chin neutral. Now let's alternate. Right side and then left. Steady pace, steady movement. You got it, come on. Stay focused, don't look down. Nicely done. Chest press, so we're bringing it back down. I'm gonna pyramid up. I know I said to stay with the same weight. I'm gonna go a little heavier, because I can. So I'm gonna go with my 12s. Chest press, lower down all the way. So head on the floor, feet apart. Turn your pinkies out this time and bring them, the dumbbells in together. So elbows to the side rather than, or out rather than to your sides, <clears throat> excuse me. Down and lift up. So your abs are contracted right here. Don't just lay on the floor. Up, not a rest time <laughs> for any of your body, any of your body parts. So, but mainly working the shoulders, the chest right here. So to, to work the pectoral muscles, you gotta think about it. Engage them by a little squeeze. Up, down, lift. Bring it together. Turn your palms in to face each other for those last two. Good. All right, glute bridge. Back to the beginning. So the last round. Ready? So hold the weight. Feet on the floor. Feet parallel, a little wider than hips. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Squeeze, press the shoulders down, you guys, lift. That actually helps you lift more up and down rather than shifting your body. Press the shoulders down, lift and lower, lift and lower, up. Press into your feet, press into your heels. Stagger your right heel forward, five, four, three, two, stagger your left heel forward, just a bit, just right in front of that right, the right toes, two, three, four, 
five, both feet flat, even, lift, press the shoulders down, lift, bring it up, staying on the mat for the next move, lift and lower, all right, tricep pullover, our rib cage pullover, working the triceps and the lats, so all the weight like a candlestick, like this, Bring it over the head, bring the elbows in towards each other, and then bring it up over the chest. Press your feet into the floor, and everybody contract your abs right there. Bring it up, and then over the head. Reach, lift. Looking straight up, don't look side to side, just look straight up, chin neutral. Abs contracted, don't forget. Easy to get lazy right there. Good job. Reach and pull it over. Reach, pull it over. If we were had heavier weight, we would of course do much fewer, fewer reps. Here we're at medium weight, so increasing volume. All right, so lift up, stand up. Squats, ready? So weight up, so let's do squat and lift to the right. Squat and lift up overhead. Take the arms out if that's too much or if you feel it in your lower back at all. You don't want to feel pain, but work into a bigger range of motion, challenging your body as much as you can. Good, you got it. Lift up, reach, other side. So half and half. Lift, squat, and lift. Nicely done, almost there. Nice, do it again, do one more. Standing, lunge rear. Let's start with the right leg, step, stepping back, shoulders, pull back. Holding the weight strong, opposing bicep curl, right there. Good. <laughs> Pull it up and step your feet side by side, right there. Curl on the lunge. Do one more. Now change sides. Pull that weight over to the opposite shoulder. Palm facing the chest or the torso. Good job, come on. You got it. Couple more reps. Do one more. Nicely done. Chest press, so last move. Bring it down. Lower down, head on the floor. Lower back, comfortable. Elbows pointing, pull into your sides first. Palms facing in. Bring it towards each other at the top and then down. Everybody, contract your abs. Weights together at the top. Lift and tap the elbows. Lift and down, stay focused, reach up, nicely done, lift and lower, lift, abs contracted, don't forget, now alternate this, right side and then left side, do it again, right side and then left, now together, 
Elbows touch and lift up, palms facing each other. Abs contracted. Reach and then lower. Reach and then lower. Nicely done. And you've completed your workout. <laughs> Not quite. Almost. Let's do 20 minutes of, of cardio training. So move your weights out of the way. Get some water. All right, people. Let's do it. High intensity interval training. Inhale and reach up. Stretch overhead. And then bring your arms down. We're just going to move for a moment and then get right into the program. I'll set the timer. Hands on your thighs, round your back, lower down, and lift up. I hope you're feeling great today and you're ready for this. The program is six moves. We're going to do progressions on the move, starting off with the base and then increasing intensity, whether that means tempo or um, movement quicker movement or plyometric. So if there's any hopping in here, it's very gentle and I'll cue you to do it the most effective way, right? Okay, so put your hands on your thighs, round your back, do that four times. Look forward when you round your, or when you arch your back. L round up the back and look through your legs and then arch. Two more, one more. Now lift up your right knee, bring it up, pull it in, rotate your foot, and then the other side, left knee, rotate, either way, and just lift your knee. Let's do that four, <laughs> get your balance, three, two, one more. Setting the timer. I hope you're well and you're enjoying this. Let's go. All right, here we go. First move is a rear lunge. So bring your right leg back. Bring your right leg back. <laughs> the hokey pokey. <laughs> All right, hands on your thigh, on your hips. Lower down and lift. Static lunge. Lower and lift. Keep this knee over your ankle in the front. So the base move, keeping the feet planted, not moving the feet. Lower and lift. Now I want you to use this forward leg and draw that, draw the body up to a standing position. But stand all the way up tall. Stretch out the hips right there as you stand up. Movement, rear lunge. And now to add some intensity, quicker movement and use your arms, quick movement. Repeater, and then this repeater, your toe just tap, your toes tap behind you. Reach your arms like this. By the way, we're doing only two rounds of the six moves. Nicely done, okay. Opposite side, starting with the static, bring it back. Shoulders back, look forward, lower and left. You guys, thanks for joining me. I love watching the sunrise with you guys as we work out. And then we're ready for our day. A good full day. <laughs> Lower and lift. Hands on your hips. Right there. Okay, so now tap, lunge, and tap. Stand up all the way right there. Don't stay in that bent hip position all the way up. You can use your arms right here. Begin to use your arms. There you go. All right, so now repeater. Tap the foot behind you. Reaching, arms. Reach up higher. Bigger range of motion. Heart rate higher. Feeling that le the right glute. Taking it to the mat. Right here, take it down. Bird dog. Bird dog, you guys. Your wrists are under your shoulder, <laughs> wrists are under your shoulders, that's right. And the knees under hips. Reach the right arm, left leg. 
bring it in and touch. Abs contracted. This move can easily be changed or modified. So you can just do one limb and you're still being quite effective. Now touch your foot, reach and touch your knee. Reach, touch your foot, reach, touch your knee. Reach, foot, reach, elbow, knee. Reach, hand, foot, elbow, knee. Do it again. Hand, foot, elbow, knee. Hand, foot. Come into a full plank, progressing. So press into your hands, widen your feet. Reach your arms one at a time. Right arm and straight left arm. So abs in, don't lift your hips high. Keep your hips level. Reach, put your hand down. Reach, put your hand down. Reach, nicely done. So let's do the second side. You ready? Turn around, just to do it. <laughs> All right, so left arm, right leg. Got that, toes pointing down. Elbow in to touch your knee and reach. Spread your fingers, you guys. Press into your fingertips. Elbow to knee, reach. Elbow to knee, reach. So stay right here, first 20 seconds. One movement. Now let's add on a movement. Reach, elbow, touch. Elbow, knee, hand to foot. Elbow, knee, hand foot. Elbow, knee, hand to foot. Good. Elbow, knee, and then bring it back. All right, full plank. So intensifying right here. Core work. Reach, straight arm, flat back. Pull your abs in right there. Reach, reach, good. Do it again. Hand underneath the shoulder. Take it up. Super good, all right. We're gonna move in a different plane of motion. The frontal plane. So side to side, shoulders rolled back. Scoot to the side like this. Scoot to the side like that. Lateral bound. So lateral bound. And we're gonna take this to the next level in a couple seconds where we do three quick moves. And then the third level, we'll add a vertical leap. So three, two, one, hold. Three, two, one, hold. Do it again. Three, two, one, hold. Pick your foot up. Three, two, one, pick your foot up. Or think knee up. Three, two, knee up. Three, two, one, vertical leap. Three, two, knee, vertical leap. Three, two, one, lift up. Three, two, one, hop. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, lift. Do it again. Nicely done. All right, low jack. Hands at your hips to start with, shoulders back, stand tall. Look forward, side, side. So you start right here, or if you're ready, go ahead and lift your arms up and down like that. That gets your heart rate higher. So it's just a low lunge, I'm sorry, jack. And then you're gonna add a hop, reach the arms up overhead. Come on. Reach up. Full jack, full jack. Nicely done. Excellent work. Okay. Inchworm. So stand back here. Hands at your hips. Look forward. Square your body. Ready? Crawl it out. 
inchworm. Bring it back. Stand up and reach overhead. Walk it out. Inchworm. And then bring it back and up. We'll progress this by adding a push-up, one single push-up right here. Walk it out, one push-up, bring it back, and reach up. Do it again. Elbows into your side, you guys, on that, the push-up. Bring it back and lift. Probably one more. So the progression from here, you'll add a leap or hop. Walk it out, push up, walk it back, up, bring it out, push up, oh, super good, all right, lunges, and we'll vary the move with your arms, okay, to add intensity. So lunge right to the side, left to the side, like that. So you're turning your body, pivot, 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 like that. No arms, but quicken up, or make the move quicker, quicken up. <laughs> A new word, quicken up. All right, sweep one arm, sweep. Add a little hop, side to side. Good. Reach, reach, sweep, sweep. Come on. Reach. Now two arms, both arms, side to side. Hop, hop. Keep it up. Come on. Stay focused. Hop, hop. You got it. Three. Two and one. Nicely done. All right. Let's do one more round. Get some water. Let's see if I have some water over here. I do. Very nice. All right. Starting over. This time, add some intensity. Start. Okay, here we go. First thing, rear lunge. Right leg back, hold it back there. Hands at your hips, square your hips. Shoulders back, lower and lift. Lower and lift, lower and lift. Good, now. Add some arms to that static lunge. Right there, good. Reach, now make that reach bigger. All right, so now tap or lift the knee. And don't tap, so you gotta balance. Reach your arms. Nicely done, come on. Reach, reach. Increasing intensity with a repeater, arms big, alternating, tap back, you got it, come on, breathe, excellent, let's do the other side, do you feel that? Okay, so as we go to the other side, stretch that leg that you just worked, right there. Flexors, pull in your front ribs. Hands at your hips. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower down and lift up. Look at that knee in the front. Now use your arms, knee in the front over the ankle. Drop the knee down and then lift straight up. Knee down, straight up. Open up the arms more. Straighter arms, lift the knee. So opposing arms with the leg. Good. Breathe. And repeater. Big arms. 
reaching as long as you can. How long are your arms? Come on. Repeat the knee, come on, repeat it. Excellent work. All right, first move down, taking it to bird dog. Let's do the left, left arm, right leg first. On your hands and your knees. Abs in, arm, leg, hold first, balance, and then bring it in and touch, and reach. Bring it in and touch and reach, press your fingers into the floor. So you stabilize the body, balancing with the hand on the floor. Now touch your knee, reach and touch your foot. Reach, knee, touch your foot. Reach, knee, reach, foot. Reach, knee, reach, foot. Reach, knee. You got it. Touch, touch. Touch, one more. All right, so now full plank, intensifying the move. Right arm, straight. Left arm, straight. Don't hike the hips up. If you think they're too high, they probably are. Stabilize the hips. Don't let them shift. Knees down. Brief child's pose. Going to the other side. Right arm, left leg. Left hand spread, fingertips fanned out, extend, left leg, right arm, elbow to knee, and then reach. Elbow to knee, and reach. Do it again, reach, abs contracted, and then extend. Don't lift the leg high. It's not, it's not about arching the spine. It's about keeping the spine straight in, and then touch your foot, Elbows to, elbow to knee, and touch your foot. Good, elbow to knee, and touch your foot. Bring it in, touch your foot. Good, elbow to knee, touch, elbow to knee, and touch. Do it again, one more time. All right, hands on the floor, high plank, full plank. Widen your feet, widen your base, reach your arms alternating. Right, keep your hips level. You're doing great. Stay with me. Excellent work. All right. Bring it up. Little cardio, lateral bound. All right, shoulders back. Shoulders back, but then lean forward. Side to side. Remember, just the simple move, base move. Stay here. We'll pick up our pace with shifting three times and then pause. Getting ready for the vertical leap, right? So three, two, one, hold. Three, two, lift your knee. Three, two, one, hold. Three, two, one, hold. Three, two, one, lift. Sweep. Three, two, now add the vertical leap. Three, two, one, hop. Three, two, one, hop. Three, two, one, hop. Three, two, one, hop. Two, one, hop. Three, two, one, hop. Shoelace. Low jack. Base move. So keep your hands out of it if you need to control your heart rate. If your heart rate's going really high, that's how you bring the heart rate down. Just changing, not working both limbs at the same time. All right, so lunge side to side now. So right there, tap side, low jack, and then use your arms up. It's almost in a lunge right there. Caught myself. So here we go, add a hop for intensity. Leg side, arms out, now full jack, 20 seconds. That's not too long, you guys. 
Reach your fingers overhead. Hop out, hop in. Reach up. Up. Great job. All right. Inchworm. Two more moves, and then we do core work. We're right on track, you guys. Okay, bring it down. You can bend your knees to come, put your hands on the floor, walk it back. So just an inchworm. You can add a push-up if you wanna go ahead and add intensity, or stay with the 20-second structure. Push-up, walk it in. That's just so that you don't get so fatigued, you lose your form. So progressing the move, working through it for a whole minute, staging the move. Now walk it back and squat or add a hop. Walk it out, push up, walk it back. Stay focused, you guys. Don't. Lose your focus right here. Push up, bring it back, and leap. <sighs> All right, last move, lateral lunge. Again, shoulders back, chin neutral, lunging right and then left. So lunge, so you can just pivot, tap your foot out if you want to, go ahead and add a little hop. We'll add the arms for intensity. Keep your arms out of it right here. All right, one arm. Sweep, sweep. Good. Come on. Look across the room. Have an outward focus. All right, both arms. 20 seconds. Quicker movement. Come on, chin up. Nicely done. Woo! You did it. Excellent work. Get some water. Mat, let's begin. Core training, core conditioning. We have four moves. Move it to your back. One, two, three, five. And then we'll stretch. And we're going to use the foam roller to roll out the hamstrings. So if you have a roller, go get it. If you don't have a roller, go buy one. Because <laughs> I will. I'll use the roller often in class. All right, so, sorry, let me get my number set three, four, five. All right, start. Starting session. Okay, ready? First move, right ankle on left knee. Single side, a cross body crunch, a cross body. So elbow to the floor and then reach up and over and look across the floor. Look up when you bring the elbow back and look across the floor when you pivot and lift the shoulder. Bring it up and over, good. Up and over, crunch the side, crunch. Up and over, elbow to the floor, reach across. Now do th three, two, one, and then open up. Three, two, one, and open up. Three, two, one, and down. Three, two, one, and down. Do it again. Three, two, one, pulse. Reach, reach, reach that shoulder. Do it again one more time. All right. So now let's change sides. Rest. Ankle on knee, foot flat on the floor. 
right elbow towards the left, up and over, it's singles right here, up and over. So get the move down, your opposite elbow presses into, or presses down, and reach up and over. Shoulder comes across, so think shoulder leads towards the knee and the elbow, not just the elbow. In fact, keep that elbow back. Reach over. Now three count pulse. Three, two, one, and lower. Do it again. Three, two, one, and then lower. Do it again. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Do it again. Over, across, crunch. Reach over. Three, two, one, across. Three, two, one. One more time. Three, two, one. Excellent. Okay, so now lower back on the floor. Bend your knees like this. And you can reach your, your feet up higher towards the ceiling. But if you can, reach out further, but pull your abs in. And you're going to reach your elbow to your knee bicycle. So get the legs first and then add the elbow to your knee. Reach across, look over the, across the floor when you reach the elbow. Don't look up the whole time. So across the floor, right there. Now three count pulse. Three, two, one, center. Three, two, one, center. Three, two, one, center. Three, two, one, center, look up. Three, two, one, look up. Three, two, one, center. Three, two, one. Time under tension, building straight. Three, two, one, center. Three, two, one, center. Excellent work. All right, so now we're gonna flip over. Come onto your forearms. Right here on their forearms. Palms on the floor, and separate your feet right here. Tap your knees, right and left, right and left. And you want your forearms to be parallel. Touch, touch. Slow and controlled right there. So we'll do the same kind of movement with a pause. So go three, two, pause. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Keep that up. Again, again, again. Three, two, one, hold. Three, two, one, hold. Three, two, one, hold. Three, do it again. You got it, look between your thumbs. Nicely done, child's pose. <sighs> On your back again. So lower down. Head on the floor. To start with, lift up your legs. Bent knees and crunch. Open up and then crunch. Bend your knees. Lift and lower. Pull the shoulder blades off the floor. That's all you have to do. Lift up right there, right there. Now straighten your legs. Lift, up, lift, reach. Those legs straight. Point your elbows towards your shoelaces right there. Chin off your chest. Put your feet down. Nicely done. Tabata complete. Excellent. All right, so now we're going to stretch. So bring your right knee into your chest. Rotate your right foot around. So we're going to stay on a timer just so that we stay focused on the move rather than having to manage time. We'll let the 
my clock, my timer, manage that. So the knee in, now extend the leg up straight. Flex your foot, reach behind the hamstring. So we'll do this on our back and then we'll use the foam roller. Bend your knee, bring the knee across the body and reach the right arm over to the right. Stretching your lower back, your hip, your IT band. Breathe. Did a great job showing up. Showing up for your health. That's what it's all about. Discipline, consistency, press your left thigh down. All right, so let's change sides. Extend the right leg out and your left knee comes in. Pull it in and you can rotate your foot. Your right thigh, press that down so your calf comes to the floor. And as you extend the left leg up straight right there, you'll notice your right leg will try to lift. So keep that leg down, reach behind the hamstring and pull the leg in. Stretching your hamstring, reach up behind the calf, straighten the leg. Breathe, chin neutral you guys, bend your knee, knee across. All the way over if you can. Shoulders on the floor though. Look over the opposite direction. Bring it up. Nicely done. All right, so now we're gonna go to the foam roller. If you don't have a foam roller, you can just do, um, come into 90-90 stretch. So hamstrings, you guys. So put the foam roller in front of the, or between the heels and the glutes like that, right? And then you're gonna lift up and let's roll the top, upper part of the hamstrings first. So start at the glutes right there and then roll to the middle. Don't go all the way down to your knees. So just right there, that, that section. So half of the hamstrings. And you can even get more into the hamstring by doing one leg at a time like that, right? Because then more weight is on that one side. So you just roll out about 10 times. Make sure your wrists are underneath your shoulders for the most part. All right, so chain sides. So just rolling half of the hamstring and then we'll do the other part. up to the glute, to the middle, right there. Good, all right, so now place the roll underneath your knees, like that. Hands back here, right? Lift up, and now roll to the middle, and then right behind the knees, to the middle. So notice, you're right in the center of the hamstring, if you're kind of getting away from, the roller's getting away from you, reposition, and then you can do one. And if you turn your toes out, you'll get into that lateral part of the hamstring, the outer thigh. Now let's change sides, other leg. Put your foot on the floor and roll. Turn your toes out, roll the outside, and then roll the inside. And then both. Center to the knees. There you go. Good. Right there. Excellent work. Okay. Rest. Move that out of the way. So now you know how to roll hamstrings. Bring it up to... Widen your feet, turn your toes out, malasana. Elbows on the inside of your knees. We're gonna finish with pigeon pose. So we'll do the right side and the left side. About a minute on each side, and then we'll be done. We're finishing a little bit early today, just by three minutes. Pull your hands to your heart, press into your feet. 
Mm -hmm. Good mobility. Place your hands on the floor. Tip your knees down to the floor. And let's come into 90-90 first. Bring your right leg forward and your left leg side. So, like this. All right, so right forward, left side, and sit up tall. <laughs> Awkward sitting up tall whenever you've got your knees 90-90. If you need to pull your heels into your glutes, I'm going to switch over so that I've got my, I'm facing you more. All right, so 90-90. Get your knee on the mat. It's important. Later on today, by the way, I'm going to do restorative yoga at 12 o'clock. And the restorative yoga is for the lower back, for relieving tension. So really good program. And if you can join me, if you can't join me today, then do the recording sometime. Lower your chest. There is an event over on Fit by Kelly for you to say that you're going or not. Lift up. If you're going, let me know, even if it's the recording. Now... Come into pigeon pose, right leg forward, left leg back. Shoelaces facing the floor. That leg underneath you, press it down. You can stay right here or stack your fist and put your forehead down like that. Relax the shoulders. Notice where your shoulders are. Abs in. Press your foot down behind you. Press the leg underneath you into the mat. And then maybe come down further. It took me quite some time to actually get to the point where I could lay down and find this to be a, a, um, a restorative pose. So if it's uncomfortable for you, modify what you need to. And maybe you don't have your head down to the mat yet. That's okay. Just do you. And it all will come along eventually. This is just creating more mobility in your body. The hips, the legs, the the body because you're stretching your flexors your quad your hamstring your hip and then upper body shoulders and back by pulling your shoulders down breathe in breathe out now press into the floor with the forearms and lift up your chest like that right and now let's go to the other side so i'm just going to switch up and over. Let's take one moment to do a forward fold over this leg with the right foot on the inner thigh. And then we'll go to the other side. Flatten your back. Reach forward. Maybe you can grab your toes. Can you do that? Lift your heart. Mm-hmm. And then lift up. Let's change sides. So you're going to bring your left shin parallel to the front of the mat, right shin parallel to the side, and then look forward. <laughs> Stiff in the hip right here. That's okay. If it's, if it's painful, pull your heel in towards your glute. Right there. Sit up tall. Breathe. Press this leg down, press this leg down. Now walk it forward. Breathe. Maybe you stay there or come down to your forearms and then extend the leg back. Pigeon pose or half pigeon. The back leg, toes facing the floor, knee on the mat. Walk your arms forward more and put your forehead down if you can. Breathe. Press the leg down into the floor that's underneath you. And if it doesn't feel right, you may need to re reposition. So just because you landed somewhere doesn't mean you have to stay. <laughs> 
All right, so lock it in. And then sweep that leg forward. Let's do that forward fold. One leg. Foot in the inner thigh right there. Move it down further away if you need to, if it's better for your knee. Look at your foot, look across your leg, and then lock it out. Good. Flat back. Press your hands into the floor or the sticky mat and use that to kind of pull in a little bit more. Feel your hamstring. Press this leg down. Holding it for long enough, feel the muscle, feel the changes. And then lift. All right, so let's do a forward fold before we come all the way up. Hands on the floor. When you push into the floor with your hands, lift up your knees, or straighten your knees, and drop your head over. Walk your hands between your feet, if you can do that. You can keep your knees slightly bent. Then bring your feet closer together, all the way if you can, and fold. Straighten the legs, hands beside the feet. Tip the head over, crown of the head, facing the floor. Bring your hands to your thighs. Lift up with a flat back all the way up, standing tall, stretching out the hips, the flexors, all the way up, grow tall. Exhale, give yourselves a big hand. Thank you for showing up. You know what, you did a really great job today. Let me know if you did the workout live with me or the recording. I hope you have a great one, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.